Hi, welcome back, my friends. Let's talk about one of the most relevant, useful, and beautiful theorems in physics. Imagine that you have a Lagrangian that does not depend on a specific variable. For example, q sub k. In that case, Lagrange equations with respect to this variable can be rewritten as which is equal to zero. So the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to q dot sub k is constant. Does not depend on time. We we'll call q sub k a cyclic coordinate. For example, think of a system where the Lagrangian can be written in Cartesian coordinates and does not depend on x. Then the partial of error with respect to x dot, which is mx dot, is conserved. But this is the linear momentum. We have conservation of linear momentum. Emmy Nether was a brilliant woman. She was born in Germany in 1882 and had to escape her country running away from the Nazis. She came to the US and was hired at Bryn Mawr College. Albert Einstein once said that she was the most important woman in the history of mathematics. Well, Nether's theorem says that for each symmetry of the Lagrangian, there is a conserved quantity. Symmetry here means that if you change the variable by a small amount, it does not affect the Lagrangian to first order. And conserved quantity means that it is constant in time. It does not change in time. In the case of the linear momentum, you can change the particle, its x position, and the Lagrangian remains the same. This does not change its linear momentum in the x coordinate. Let's see this with the Lagrangian of a freely falling ball. The Lagrangian is one half of mx dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square minus mgz. There is no dependence on z and y, so both the partial of l with respect to x dot and with respect to y dot are constant, but these are the linear momentum in the x and y coordinates. The x momentum px and py for these particles, they do not change. Let's write, in cylindrical coordinates, the Lagrangian of a potential that depends on the distance to the origin, only depends on r. This Lagrangian has no dependence on theta and does not depend on z also. So the partial of the Lagrangian with respect to theta dot has to be constant as the partial of the Lagrangian with respect to z dot. Here we have conservation of linear momentum in the z-coordinate, but also conservation of the angular momentum. This is a very relevant and also pretty beautiful theorem. I'm, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but we are going to be using it. May Nether's theorem be with you.